guys, welcome back to a brand new TikTok piercing fail reaction <gasps> video. Hello everyone. What is the tea? What is the Darjeeling? The Lapsang Sushan? The Scalding Hot Assam? The El Grey? What is the tea? This is not my cup of tea. But yes, hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Now today we're diving back into the world of new TikTok piercing fails. So thank you to everyone over on TikTok who does send me things to react to and tag me and post. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't do this without you girls. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you are new to the channel, hello, my name is Roly. I make content on here regarding a whole variety of topics on um, body modification, tattoos, piercings, LGBT things, Reddit stuff. Join the fun, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. And of course, everyone, please, please, please make sure you do hit the like button, leave me a comment down below and you know, share the love. But anyway, let's not beat around the bush and get on with these TikTok piercing fails. <sighs> I got six new piercings. Oh, 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 not the foot. Oh, I didn't want to see the foot. Oh no, wiki feet are quaking girls. Makes me sick. Don't give foot pics for free in 2024. Oh no, stop it. Oh, it's so just, oh, oh, no. oh, 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 I get people are into what they're into, but I really don't understand why people like feet. Like this kind of stuff grossed me out because it like it's going into the foot. Like if, if the piercings weren't there, it wouldn't gross me out so much, but because you kind of like, you've pierced through like the dead parts of your skin. Uh, uh. So what, oh, it's her again. Doing my labray piercing, don't try us at home just for, f wait, what? Come on, sis. You're gonna, you can't, I'm sorry, you, you you know this is bad. Like you I you clearly know this is bad. Like come on. Like you're Oh god. I'm very disappointed and terrified. This is why I say TikTok and all this shit and clout chasing has really rotted people's brains. That's insane. Like that's insane. Like you are you are clearly old enough and smart enough to know that's a bad idea. And you've got enough piercings to know the healing methods. I mean, you did a lot of your ear ones yourself. I've already seen the videos of you piercing your ears with a gun. Like, and you, but you've been to professionals to do things. We saw you get your belly button done professionally. Like, you know this is a really f***ing <laughs> dumb thing to do. Like, this is really stupid. And the thing is, it's not even, like, you can tell that it's real because you can, if you look here, you can see the bar is in there when she does it. But, like, you can see the bar is here. You can see it still. That's really stupid. What people are doing these days for attention is really f***ing stupid. I don't think a nice girl like you should be doing things like that. There'll be, a, again, TikTok, the TikTok audience is really young people. There's gonna be young people there who won't really understand what's going on and think that's a good idea and then do it themselves. I'm so glad that I didn't have things like this growing up. I'm so glad that I at least grew up in a slight era where social media was brand new. Again, I know I sound boomer, grumpy old man, but I will stand firmly by that. I'm actually really glad that I grew up just before social media came in because the pressure of being on social media as a child now is so astronomical. Body confidence issues and all that things, looking at Instagram people, everything. I'm so glad that that was after I left school. Like I love social media, obviously it's my career. I'm so glad that I'm able to do this as a job. However, there are some things like this, the clout chasing that people do now where they're putting themselves in really stupid, dangerous situations just for likes and attention and followers. Like it, it's it's bad. The thing is as well, is if that goes really bad, cause you basically just ripped open your lip. Like you, you really want you're gonna now have this like maybe like bumpy scar like all across the bottom of your lip because you did this for attention. I hope for your sake nothing goes wrong here and you you've taken that out or something and the scar tissue isn't bad. But that that has real real chance of bad complications that you've just done that like. Okay, hey babe. Hey babe. Can you help me really quick? Can you? Can you? Oh God. Do it yourself. Why do you seem so happy? Why do you seem so happy? <laughs> this is okay. sick. You have to do it in my ear. You have to do it, okay, where? where? Like right here, like there. Okay, she's got like where a little mark where to do it. Was there one more? Yeah, so don't, don't do it like on the hole because there's a lot of scar tissue. Okay, three, two, one. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Why did you do that? Why are you acting so weird? That hurt, you wanted to hurt me. I, I excuse- I never asked you to do that and that's, <laughs> that's lopsided. He literally did it where you put the mark. You, you did that on purpose. You're trying to make me ugly. You're trying to make me look ugly so you can have hot. Eggs. You're trying to make me look ugly so you can be hot. Uh, leave this woman. Like red, red, red gazebo girl, red circus tent. So she puts. Wait. So she puts the mark. That literally the mark. She's got like a mark there where he. She wants him to do it. 
He literally, like, he's putting it. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Wait till he actually does it, look. He's literally got it on the mark. Like, he, the, 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 the piercing cartridge is literally exactly where she told him to do it. And then she's like, you did that on purpose. Why did you do that? That hurt. You wanted to hurt me. I never asked you to do that. He's done it directly where you put the... You just asked for specifically that. Red gazebo! Red gazebo! No! Red gazebo! Red gazebo! Gazebes are red. Oh no. Signs of things to come, sis. God, I love you. Would you be down to spin the wheel for a free piercing? Would you be spin the wheel for free piercing? A free jersey? Uh, no, a free, free piercing. Free piercing. Just free piercing? Yeah. What if I like live? No! Does the word piercing sound like Jersey? Oh, don't be so stupid. Or jumper, as we would call them. I don't think. Lip or something? Or your eyebrow? <laughs> yeah, if it lands on something you don't like, you don't have to get it. Okay. Go ahead and Come on spin then. it. See what you get. I, oh, it lands on the eyebrow. eyebrow no, no, I'm not getting that now. Okay, someone else piercing. is now spinning the wheel. Hello! Oh, you picked! Okay, so now this person's okay. gonna get okay. angel, angel bites. bites. Angel bites? Yeah. Soon after. I'm muting it now, there's music. So this person's now gonna get angel bites. Okay, so, oh for God's sake, why does this person do that? Wh I can't, I cannot believe this, this piercer does that. Outrageous. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna play it one more time. What do you think, what do you think I'm getting, what do you think is annoying me about this? Piercers should never do, like you just should never do this. Just have another look, what do you think she's doing? What do you think is going on there? Gout, gout. I cannot believe that she just allows the needle to just fall down on, like that is a needle and it's just, it's just like, wee falling down onto the client, just like a used needle. That could stab her, that could have fallen down and pierced, like pinched her skin, pierced her skin. Like what are you doing? Like why are you doing that? Because I was drunk. I can't, I just find it weird. That is, that is, that's bad. Like that's bad. Like that's bad. You absolutely cannot let needles drop like that, homie. Absolutely. But like it's, it's, see someone, at least people are saying it. I'm glad that people are actually saying this. Why is she allowing the needles? And, and like you film it and post it online as if it's like fine. This piercing studio is weird. We've seen this person a few times. And like the last time they were on the channel, they were doing a sponsorship, an undisclosed sponsorship for some oil that gets rid of keloids. And like this person was, they were like, oh, if you You've got keloids, this will get rid of it. And it's like, no, sis. Like, this isn't, you need to rem have some calming tea. There's another one of this person I've been tagged into. Spin the wheel and get a free piercing, tongue piercings. Okay. Music. <gasps> That's not a tongue. That wait, 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 wait. A tongue piercing is not, that's that's not a tongue piercing, that's a snake eye. That's a completely different, again, it just says it all though. This person's happy to do piercings like snake eye piercings. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm sick of having to talk about why snake eye piercings is bad, but even someone hears this. Snake eyes is such a dangerous piercing. You're put, you're pinning two muscles together. Sad to see another piercer do this. And they have, they've replied, I warn everybody about the risk of all piercings. At the end of the day, it's up to my clients to accept the risks and do their part to heal them. Certainly not. It's your job as a body piercing professional to give people the right advice and go, do you know what? We're not doing this because it's not a good idea. And that's the tea. Oh, and I'm glad someone, someone said this too. Spooky Boutique has said, absolutely not. It's our responsibility as piercers to not do piercings that are not safe. I cannot believe you've said that. This, I, I'm so glad. I'm glad that some people are actually seeing this. Like I, I've, I've been to many piercing studios over the years, right? And I've not seen a single one of them say that they'll do a snake eye piercing because of how dangerous it is. So, oh, what are you doing? What? Wait, what is that? That's a little, that's like, a, that's, a, that's a sewing needle, isn't it? She's going to pierce a snake. Uh, uh, uh. Did, wait, so we didn't. We can find bananas. So she, 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 I guess that's kind of more of a scoop piercing. It's a bit high. She gave us a scoop piercing with like a sewing needle. I mean, she didn't show her doing it, but like. What I'm really confused about, right, is down the bottom here, it says learn facts about COVID-19. Why does this have, why, why does this have anything, this is, what? This has nothing to do with, co wait, what? Right, this is very confusing. But honestly, at this point, if you're dumb enough to pierce your tongue with a sewing needle, you deserve, like, I don't feel sorry for you with any consequences. Sorry, I'm just, like, just, I'm just honest. If you honestly think it's a good idea to get a sewing needle, with thread on the end, by the way, it's a bit of thread, and pierce through your tongue, 
I do not feel sorry for you. I don't care. Okay, so, oh, for God's sake. God, how old is this girl? She's getting an ear piercing with a gut. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, that's... <gasps> She's too young. She's too young. And they're using the awful piercing gun as well, where it like thumps you. Oh God. I don't know how old she is, but she's young. Oh. Now she's like, I'm gonna. She's moving around a lot, and like it's gonna take me ages tracking her face. I'm just gonna kind of blur most of the video. I'm really sorry, but she's moving around a lot. Um, and then the piercer just tried to do the other side of the ear, and she like backed away. She's still screaming. Oh, oh, she's like cowering in fear. Her dad's now holding her, like trying to keep her still. Oh. So now he's holding her arms down while she's on. Okay, that was horrible. No, see, I don't know. So I'm, I'm, I'm stopping the video. I'm not watching the rest of that. That's really upsetting. Like this girl was clearly not ready for this. She's not as young as we normally would see with these kind of piercings. Like she's not like a, like a, you know, like an actual like tiny toddler. But clearly with this reaction and what happened, she's not ready for this yet. She's clearly not ready. The parents were kind of being like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And I don't know if, like, this is me completely making assumptions, but in a way it kind of feels like she's been made to do this. The way that she was reacting then and how they were reacting, I get they were trying to calm her down but there was there was a there was a little ick there to me but it was the way she was screaming and then moving around when the next one was trying to get done she really cowered in fear it wasn't just like oh a bit nervous like she was cowering in fear then the dad came and hold her and even then she was pulling away and screaming like she clearly doesn't want to do it and that just gives me the ick like it gives me the ick when you're like having to when you're having to literally hold the child down like that while it's kicking and screaming you shouldn't do it like come on you negligent monster but that end made me really uncomfortable so i couldn't even watch the rest of that because she was screaming too much okay so what is this this is your sign no, wait what this is your sign to go disposable piercing guns with your friend no no like this oh, this really annoys me like if you want to do this and damage that was like it's even on the college if you want to do this and go damage your ears and you know possibly get infections and stuff it's up to you but don't start trying to encourage people. this is your sign to go buy disposable piercing guns with your friend like don't encourage it and be like, no, nah, it's all time to do it because Americans love to act like their healthcare system is free. Okay, so... <laughs> what is the... <laughs> Ew, not the spit. That is disgusting. Moving on. Because I'm moving on up. Moving on. Shut up, bitch! And that was how he died. It was the nose. The no like the way that the nose had been like cut open. Is that to do with some kind of like culture? I've never seen that before. I know there's things like lip discs and some of the facial piercings and things that are to do with like cultures and traditions, but like I've never seen nose being cut open like that. Like extra large nostrils and like a bit in the front being cut open. Okay, so there's music in this. You, you, point of view, you are tired of having to take your earrings out. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what was it? Wait, wait, I'm really confused what was happening. What was, what just happened? What? Zap, it's like, are they soldering? Are they like soldering this bar like permanently in her ear? Oh, uh, wait, what? That doesn't make, wait. That... What are you, do what? Uh, Jess, when you thought you've seen it all, girls. Surprise, surprise. She's got this bar soldered to her ear so she can't take it out. I'm, I, goodbye. Oh, wow. No, Sars, done. I'm done. Goodbye. Absolutely not. Is he really gone? I don't know why I have to say this. Never. Never permanently attach jewelry into a piercing. Like that is so stupid. That is so stupid. What happens if that ever get caught? 
At least on a piercing, if you've got like a hinge or something else, there's a chance that it would open up and come out and it wouldn't get stuck or whatever. But like, if you've soldered this bar to your ear, if that gets caught on something, your ear's just ripping through. What a bloody sight it must have been. But also, like, you need to clean your ears. Yes, you don't have to take your piercings out every time you have a shower, but like, you do need to be able to deep clean your ears relatively frequently and you have I don't know. Are you drunk? Like, how are you going to clean it properly? Because eventually that's going to get weird inside. Oh, weird. What a weird thing to do. So I'm going to... And this is why she, like, soldered it to her ear. To me, that just says I'm lazy. I'm... <sighs> but also here, it's like, point of view. You are you are tired of having to take your earrings out. So you're taking them out because you have to for a reason. You're not taking them out because they keep falling. It's not like, it's not like point of view. You're tired of your earrings falling out. You're tired of having to take them out. So there's a reason you're having to take them out. You're not being forced... Like, they they're I don't understand the point. Like, your POV there doesn't make sense. Because why? if you're meant to take them out for a reason, say, for work or for, I don't know, something you're doing, even just for cleaning, if you want to use that as an excuse. So you thought I'd solder it in so when I'm asked to take them out, I can't? You're fired! Don't! Or if you're in school and your school doesn't allow you to have this many piercings and the school's like, you have to take them out. It's against our uniform policy. Well, I can't because I've soldered it to my ear. When I was in school, if you weren't in the correct uniform, they would just send you home. They would just send you home and be like, you're going to get a warning. And if you keep doing this, potential suspension and then expulsion. People don't, I, I swear people don't understand what this point of view thing actually means. But soldering or like permanently enclosing some kind of jewelry into your body is never a good idea. Terrible things could happen. Okay, so what? Sorry, this music, stop. Is that, wait, 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 wait. Is that numbing cream? Has she used numbing cream on her tongue? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know all the properties of numbing cream. I really don't think you should put in that in your mouth. No, not in my mouth. I feel like it's safe to say that you should never put this kind of cream in your mouth. Like that's not something you should ingest. Numbing cream needs to be on the skin for what, half an hour? Is that right? How about half an hour? Fifth, like 20 minutes? That's gonna be sticking into your tongue and it's gonna go into your body. But she's doing it so she can, is now gonna give herself a, yeah, she's giving herself a snake eye piercing. Such a dumb thing to do. It's so dumb. And the fact that she used numbing cream as well, she's not gonna feel it. If she does something really wrong or pierces through something really badly, she's not gonna know. You'll die. We didn't really get to see we didn't really get to see the end result. She's put cones on them. She's put cones on them. It's really hard to like stop it. There's like little cones. <sighs> it's gonna goodbye to your tooth and animal. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. This is one of those stupid piercings that professionals shouldn't even do, let alone just you at home on your own, like really dumb. And again, it just encourages people to do bad things. I just hate it, I just hate it. Oh, for God's sake, what's she doing now? This girl has a thing about putting things through her tongue. We've seen it now a couple of times. Last time it was putting handcuffs through her tongue piercing, and now she's putting a, an iPhone charger through the tongue piercing. Wonderful, I'm so glad that this party trick is fa- Do you know what this feels like? We spoke about her a little while ago. It feels like the girl who was doing the, the tongue piercing thing where she was like bleh, 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 and she did that for ages. And then there was the other girl that had like the two really long bars in her snake white piercings and she would do loads of things. She got really big on TikTok because of it. And now this girl seems to be doing this. This is like the new one. So we're gonna be seeing this girl put loads of things through her tongue for the next year. <laughs> Wonderful. What goes around comes around, girls. That doesn't make any sense in this context, but I just said it anyway. Deal with it. Bebop is about to get her ears pierced. The nurse is marking where my piercings are gonna be. Why does she sound like AI? Bebop, how are you feeling right now? I feel nervous, but slay. What? All right, here it goes. Will she this is the, okay, Wait, 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 uh, wait, wait. No, I'm fearless today. Okay, here it goes. Did that hurt? Sorry, I'm 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 a bit wait 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 because I need to tell you what's going I'm gonna have to blur her face. I want it blurred. So wait, wait, okay, okay, okay. So there's this mother and daughter, I'm assuming. This girl sound I mean she sounds young. That's her voice over it. I don't know how old someone in the comment section says that she's nine years old. I mean, well, first of all, the girl is like in a full face of makeup. Like, like, do you know the, like, uh, the pageants of like ch young children and those like beauty pageants? She's got like beauty pageant makeup on, massive eyelashes. And then the mother was using, you couldn't tell, so again, I'm blowing the face. The mother's using like one of those really intense, like skin shaping 
face shaping beauty filters on the daughter. And she's like, it said, I can't remember she's nine. She's like, she's young. Like she's clear, she's clearly young. I'm not saying young kids and things shouldn't play with makeup and stuff. Like if that's what you want to do, fine, great. But like this amount of like makeup on this girl's face and then using like face altering like apps that make you look like a smudge. Like, no wonder kids grow up these days thinking how like they have to look a certain way. Like if you, like she, I just don't think you should be doing, like maybe I'm being too grumpy old man, but it that gives me ick. And she's gone to a place where she's like getting her ears pierced with a gun, just so you know. But that's not gonna stop me. Like she listens to her, that I she sounds young. I think really well today. She sat very still and everything went great. I'm thinking about stray kids earrings. What did you say? I'm thinking about those big silver hoop earrings. Shh. No, thank you. Not for you, silly for oh, me. Oh, her ear is so red. So I get stray kids earrings? After the nurses clear you on the phone. She's wearing like drag queen lashes, like drag queen length fake lashes. Like not even just like subtle ones. It's like drag queen lashes. She's so tiny. Oh, it's just a bit weird. And again, this this filter, this filter they've got over her to like blur her skin. It that she's too young to be having that kind of stuff. Sorry, I feel like she's too young for this. Oh, well, this is the perfect way to describe it. They've literally got in the in the tags K-pop fan. It feels like that kind of like K-pop cute sort of filter, but sort of makes the sh like chin really pointy, like thins it out with like this splurring face and the rouge cheeks and you know like the cute. Like it's weird. It's weird to put that on like. A child who's that young. Sorry, weird. It's weird. That makes me really uncomfortable. I don't think, like I said, I don't think, I don't think it's like weird for young kids to play with makeup and stuff. Like my sister did that. She put makeup on me as a child. Oh, groomer. Oh, she did, did she? I just don't feel like kids of that age should have to put that much pressure on them to like wear and look like that. Oh. Oh, oh, no, stop it. No, stop, no, no. I think is I don't know if this music is copyrighted, so I can't, I'd want to play any more of it. I'm sorry, I have to tell you, you are now liable for prosecution. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, this part of your ear doesn't, ugh. I mean, I, I've never had ears this big before, so like, I can't talk too much about how like, healthy ears of this size, like what the common, you know, look of them are. But like, this does look a bit, um, interesting, doesn't it? Oh, no, stop it. No, stop it. <laughs> That gives me the willies, girl. Oh, that's gay. So, oh. Oh. Well, we talked about pierced fingernails and the last one didn't we? And then we're just like, literally just like overdrive. <laughs> pierced acrylic nails, girl. Cool. I mean, yeah, sure. It's fun. It's fun. We love to see it. We love. We do have a lot. Oh, I do have to mad to work here, but it helps. Do you have a laugh? It. Oh, my name's Wacky Carol and I've got the maddest friends. I'm really bubbly. I'm like, mom, do you love me or you hate me? Actually, everybody hates you. That was the cool mental breakdown of Roley. So what is this? Why do no one tell me lip piercing swell? Oh God, look at the bruising on the inside. I mean, doing that's not gonna help sis. Like leave it alone. I'm sure the piercer told you that your lip was going to swell, but it makes me feel as well. But the fact that you're doing this now with like piercing, just like in your car, like, I don't know how clean you are, but like you're probably not even, you're probably not looking after it properly either. But you've got two right next to each other. You've got spider bites like right next to each other, clearly on the same time. Like getting two pe lip piercings right next to each other like that probably isn't a good idea because your lip is going to swell like so much. I hope it heals for you, but leave it alone. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Don't do things like this when it's healing. We all know that there's no happy ending there. But I find it hard to believe that the piercer didn't tell you that your lip's probably going to swell. About to go get my tits pierced at Claire's. Yeah, just got my tits pierced at Claire's. About to go get my tits pierced at Claire's. Yeah, just got my tits pierced at Claire's. I'm going to wipe that from my memory. Point of view, you're an adult that wasn't allowed to get pierced. Oh God. Oh, moving around with leg corset pieces that made me uncomfortable. Oh no. I mean, they look cool, but yeah, just, just the moving of like your body. What? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. I love the hair though. I love bright, colorful hair. Yes, bitch. Work, work. Look behind, there's like loads of like old terrestrial TVs. Oh. <laughs> What's funny? What an unusual place you are. Okay, so, oh no. Oh, oh God. Music, I mean, copyright strike. Oh God. I'm gonna have to blur the Santa at the end. Oh, oh, that flew! Oh, it flew! Flew! Go oh, oh God. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to blur most of this. These people have like really infected piercings and like popping spots next to the piercings, loads of pus coming out. 
Unfortunately, I can't show bodily fluids. <laughs> Most of this is going to have to be blurred. I really apologize. God, it's really gross. Oh, it's sick. Oh, I, I actually don't want to watch anymore. Like, I can actually see blood. I'm not actually really that bothered by it, but pus is pus. 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 Boom, boom, pus. Don't want that boom, boom, pus. I don't want that boom, boom, pus. I don't want that boom, boom, pus. Will you just stop that? <laughs> What's this? Stretch my ears with me. Oh, 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 I'm so jealous of the one on your flat. Oh, oh my God, I am so jealous. Like, I would love to have another one up here, but unfortunately, dermal punches in the UK have now been, um outlawed they've been for a while now because of miss dr evil and all that stuff when he was doing illegal surgeries on people but now unfortunately so like when one person does something gets caught it ruins it for everyone so dermal punches you can't actually use now in the uk legally so i'm not able to get it done in my studios uh i don't actually it's person they're actually stretching because that that conch then just went in really easily and that would make were they were they stretching all of them or was it just the one lobe? Because, I don't know. Cool, though. I love it. It looks really cool. Very jealous, though. I'm very jealous of the top stretch. I'd love to get one up here. Very jealous. Okay, so what is this? POV, backseat piercings on your lunch breaks. That's not a point of view. Like, people don't know what people... I don't think people know... Okay. The, I, people generally don't... They don't understand what POV means now. It's just like, I'm doing something. Just put POV. Like, no... <laughs> I am not interested in a girl down your street. No gloves, no cleaning, anything. Just in the back, like, sure. Dumb. She's putting a hoop in it as well. She, is she using a hoop as well? Oh, they changed it. Or was it just an elbow? It's not, no, I think it's just, actually, no, it's an elbow and stud at least. <sighs> people gem, people really don't understand how germs work. Both sides, did both sides as well. Jesus Christ. So what? Oh my God. <gasps> Oh, that's absolutely. Oh, why is why are we seeing so much pus? No. Oh, that is so gross. <gasps> I feel sick. I mean, he doesn't look. I don't know if that's from exactly from a piercing, but he doesn't look like he has a stretched earlobe. So maybe that was a. Doesn't say actually if it's to do with. Oh no. Oh god. I'm really sorry again. I'm gonna have to blur some of this. Essentially, this guy has like a stretched earlobe, but next to it is like a huge pus blood blister, which is like it looked like almost the size of a grape. It was huge. Sp spurting all the pus out. Unfortunately, I can't show you it, but... Well, is that unfortunate? Do you really want to see that? No, yes, thank you. Um, it's not me. I'm actually saving you from the torment. Disgusting. Oh! Okay, so what... Oh, she's... Oh, wait, wait. Piercing in my nose. <laughs> For a couple years now, my friend did it. She actually pierced it from, like, a little Amazon gadget. Oh, like, God. it was literally $5. I don't recommend it. Because there's no way to remove it. Like, do you see how it's, like, kind of like... You're looking straight at my nostril. So oh! So, boogers is... Whatever. But like it has like a little like why is like a little ridge in it? So I can't take it out. It looks no, like there's like a little ridge. Yeah, how are you supposed to take side? that out? It's very confusing. And I've been wanting to change it out. There's like it almost looks like a like an arrow. There's like a little ridge. Yeah, how are you gonna pull that out? Because the, the it'll be thicker than the actual there's a yank it out and just rip open the hole. Oh, no need to be rude. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna try and cut it so open with like is, I'm going clippers. To oh god. Like shove Oh, oh, it doesn't make you uncomfortable. Oh, get getting it right next to your face. Oh, no. Okay, right, come on. Oh. Oh, they can't. I guess it's not, I guess it's not really for, like, that looks, what would that be for? Like, wire cutters, maybe? Oh, no. I don't know if it's strong enough to do met. Oh. Oh, just pulling on. Oh, no, you're going you're gonna to end up just ripping it out of your nose. Oh, there we go. Oh, well done. She did it. Dead now. Yeah, I wonder why the bottom half of it had, like, a ridge on like that. Oh my god, please do not try that at home. That was actually really f***ing scary. Um, <laughs> well, what you should be saying is don't pierce your nose at home with a cartridge, but I'll let that slide. <laughs> there we go. Now she's put... I mean, that 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 hoop does look thicker than the bar you just had, but you probably just stretched your nostril no. a bit. Oh, you're not going to get it I in. I am struggling. This is uh, quite hard. I... But it's because the piercing gun size is different to that hoop. You're using a 1.2, and the piercing gun is like 0.8 or 1 millimeter. But this is... Oh, there we go. You finally got this. You, you would have stretched your hole a tiny bit there. But yeah, I've never seen like the piercing garden jewelry having like that little bit of a ridge on the bottom half. Of it. There was a little ridge. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Entrestage. Really? Stop making up words. Okay, so... So I've had my snake eyes pierced for God, four did you hear... You months. even heard the clack then of the, the bar on her tooth. So this time it did not read Jank. 
but not for much longer. Let's get a round of applause. But I'm this time we did, we, I mean, Pierce can reject so. any time. It doesn't yeah, have to do be that. in the time that it's healing. So like some things take longer to reject than others. Like it can still reject. It to be shorter. But she's changing. She wants to change her tongue bar. Oh, now, I don't I don't know who this person is, so I can't say this, what it was before, but if you just listen to the way that she's speaking, she you can see that she's talking like so she's got one in her mouth. So did not reject. So, I've had my snake eyes pierced for four months. Four months had it done, so the swelling would have gone down and things. Like, but you can hear she's like lisping, almost like she's talking a little bit like the tongue's a bit too- So this time, it did not reject. Let's I don't know if she had a lisp before, boys, but like- But I'm gonna change it with the so. If that's the piece, like the piece has probably made her like talk differently. I can't, obviously I can't, I don't really know, but it's- But also, just listen to the beginning. So, I've had my snake eyes pierced You heard it click. Four so i've had my snake eyes pierced you heard like a little four like months. after she clapped and pulled her hand away there was like a little sound and it's, like, it's it's the thing bashing against her teeth it keeps bashing me in the face so this time it did not reject but she's got a lisp Let's she's got a lisp as well so i don't know if like that she had it before or the tongue piercing done it but like let me do that. Most snake eye piercings, when you get them, it's gonna change how you talk because having like the extra, extra like space coming up top of your tongue here, that extra like length. What are you talking about? It's gonna change how you speak because you're changing your tongue shape. Oh, she missed the hole, girl. She missed the hole. Oh. Panic. She's panicking. Oh. So I and that was how she died. Such a sad story. Okay, so satisfying crust remove. Oh God. Oh, look at it there. Oh, round and round the ear. Okay, so oh, it's like literally made like a it looked like a little donut. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I always find with these kind of videos, like when people are doing this kind of uh, cleaning or whatever, and they, you know someone has left it, so like it's literally like a hard donut around the piercing. I feel like they're just not gonna learn. Like the next time they have a piercing or the next time this happens, it's just gonna happen again because they don't clean themselves. It's like a lot of these TV shows that are kind of more made for the shock rather than actually trying to help people. Like they sort of like hoarder TV shows or TV shows where they like how clean is your house and things. And they go back and visit these people and then like nothing's changed and they're like back to filling the house up with stuff. Going into a household like this, like My Strange Addiction, all these things, like People to get over that, they need like actual therapy and just you going into the house and cleaning it doesn't really do anything. It might give them like a bit of a refresh for a while. Like with a lot of this kind of stuff, I just feel like maybe, I know this is a little bit less of an extreme example of someone like hoarders or something, but like when I see things like this, I'm like, well, I doubt, you're probably not gonna learn, are you? Like just cleaning it. Like, yeah, it's great that you're cleaning the thing, but I just feel like it's just gonna be dirty again. Okay, so Hi, what, wait, I'm what is Marina. this? I come from London. And I came here to change my eye color to blue, which been my dream oh, since God, I was a child. Oh God, they're not going to put red, like... So, finally it's possible. And I'm so happy. <laughs> I know this isn't like piercing related, but I've been tagged in it and it's very, it's very my channel. So this person's getting like eye color changing. What are they... Oh God. Yeah, but you can still see her like brown rim. The thing is, did they, have, they, have they literally... I, we didn't get to see what happened and how it does it. The thing is, they look like contact lenses. They don't look like real eyes. I think if you're going to go through all that process of like having your eye color changed, like surely you want them to look like natural eyes and not like you're wearing contact lenses. Like for me, I love wearing bright colored contact lenses and to, to, for them to look fake, but like I take them out. Ooh. Thing is the quality of this photo, the quality of this video isn't amazing, which might be on purpose, but like they look, the, the colors too flat. Like eyes have that sort of eyes have all the streaks and everything in them, don't they? So Quite I'm not sure what the technical name for it, it was is. But a bit difficult. But the doctor uh, was explaining me everything in calm way, so it went. Uh... I love contact lenses. I love having colorful eyes. I love having different things. But I love the choice of being able to change it. And what I do is safe. Like I don't do anything dangerous. Like I was checked out from the opticians. Like I'm perfectly safe to wear contact lenses. I've been doing it now since what I was 18, 19. So like. I'm, I'm fine, sis. I don't know how this is done. This note doesn't actually tell you how the, the surgery was done or whatever. So I don't know if it's the same one where they cut open like the top layer of skin. They put like a, like they put like a, like a disc, like a disc color. Essentially it looks a bit like a contact lens then seal the eye back up. Something about doing this kind of stuff to your eye just for an aesthetic is just like, I feel the same about eye tattoos. Just leave your eyes alone. The one place I would say never f yeah. with is your eyes. Like just don't. I remember my friend Luxaria actually did a video about eye, eye procedures like this. I, again, I 
I don't know if this is the same way. One of the people went blind because of it. Like I, 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 when it comes to modifications, I love them. But anything to do with your eyes, unless it's like a, an actual surgery you need, you know, anything that's like medical, like obviously go for it, wonderful, you know, do, do what you need to do. But things like this, just for blue eyes, just wear contact lenses. If you just want, if you want blue eyes, just wear some contact lenses. It's just that easy. Don't f with your eyes like this, like to, and again, I don't think the outcome really looked very good. They looked really fake. Like I thought you would at least try to make them look natural. Okay, so what is this? We got, oh wait, hang on, let me pause this. Uh, we got both POV of the piercer and POV of the client here. Lisa filmed herself being pierced. Wow, look at the ears. Every, oh, see, this is what we love to see. Just look, 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 look. Clean, 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 clean. Okay, so, oh, oh. Jump scare! Not a <laughs> so she is getting, um, I guess some, is there sound? There's no sound. There was sound. She can't really hear anything. It's very quiet. No, just maybe no one's talking. So she's getting some helix piercings. I'm just gonna kind of skip through because this video is like almost four, this video is like four minutes long. So she's getting some piercings done. I don't think this is gonna be a fail. So I'm not trying to work out. I'm not trying to look at it as, as like from a, uh, what's gonna go wrong? Let me just skip to see if we see them at the end. So, okay, so she's getting, oh, she's getting three extra ones put on the top. Oh, okay. So along the top rim, she's got three more piercings. Oh, there we go, now there's some sound. They were just very silent. Can't relate. I am calm. Nice big bars for swelling, wonderful. Oh, great. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It looks gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Gorge, giant, there girls. Yeah, it looks great. I really like it. Wonderful. As I said, I always love heavily pierced people when everything's nice and clean and they actually look after themselves. Piercing time. Oh, oh God. That necklace is cool. The, oh, you're going to give yourself. I, oh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. As I keep saying, don't uh. around with your eye area. It might look okay, but. They've also, again, they're, they're, they're not using the right kind of jewelry. They're just putting curved barbells into their face. Like they're just putting curved barbells in the face. <laughs> don't mess with your eye area. I love that in the comment section here, someone said, don't you need staple bar for this kind of piercing? Yes, you need the actual surface bar. That's like, you know, a cup, half rectangle. And so, this problem's replied to them. People use many types of jewelry for anti-eyebrows. Yes. Doesn't mean that it's right. Well, it's all over now. Ooh, okay, so badly done septum piercing. Badly done septum piercing. Oh, it's my Tell queen! Oh, it's, it's the woman who always like. I love, I love so this one. Low. I'm gonna show you a close up in a second, and I could. So the septum see piercing's been done really badly. That they went through the cartilage in the septum. Oh God, ouch. Which you're not yeah, that's so to low down. If you actually, I can't really show you my nose too much, but like, septum piercing to be right at the front where like the sweet spot is near the front. There's like a really thin bit of tissue. This is really far back, so it's definitely gone through like a cartilage area. Because it's hanging so low. So this ring is going out, girl. So we're yeah. gonna be re piercing it. And if you don't know what we are looking for when we're gonna pierce a septum piercing, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> those, those, I've never seen four sets of tubes that long on each side before. <laughs> Between two cartilage walls in the septum. And the reason we're doing that, I'm gonna show you right now, because it slides right in. It's very Look how easy that went through as well. That was just like, no like butter girls. It does not hurt so, so much. She but if you look at the difference in positioning, like how much higher up on the nose that is, that, that's, you know, where it should be near the front. I mean, obviously, if you want multiple, you, you will have to go back. But I'm pretty sure this, this person didn't go, I want my... Look how much better that looks at the front. That's where it's supposed to sit. It looks so much nicer there than like hanging down right at the back. It's a lot higher up in her nose and is more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, have looks gorgeous. Any... Good for you. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo speeding down the railway. I'm about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye! Oh, when I'm back, just like Jesus Christ. Oh, squat for Jesus. Oh, Jesus hated snake eye piercings. Oh, Jesus didn't like to surgically attach a retina thing, disc under your eye. Oh, he didn't like to solder earrings into your ears. Oh, but what he did like was to get raw dogged on the last supper table. Um, Thank you for watching today's Vidwashliers. Thank you for everyone who sends me things over on TikTok and Instagram as well. So make sure you do come follow my platforms. All the links are down below. Come send me things to react to and maybe your video can be in the next video. Your, oh, videoception. Um, this has been a lot, yeah. I can't believe that, I cannot believe that person. 
did their lip piercing with a gun. Just like, what are you doing? And then they're like, yeah, the soldering of the earring into the ear, so it's like permanently in there. That's obscene. I think they're the two most shocking things to say. Well, also the girl changing her eye color. I think that's always insane, like to mess around with your eye. I know it's not piercing related, but I mean, it's, it's definitely me related. God, Jesus. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're still watching now, comment down below. Oh, Vaseline. Um, Comment that down below, and then you've watched right up to the end. Make sure you do hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with me today. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Cherry Gloss. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. If you would like to be in the next Twitch shout out, come follow me on Twitch and you could possibly be in the next one. Thank you to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. If you would like to be a patron, there's a link down below. Come join the Patreon family, come get some little bonus videos and all that fun kind of things. And the top tier patrons do get shout outs at the end of my videos. So, Nova, thank you so much for joining the Patreon, Prince of Horror. Cameron Pittman, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, Aya, Robin Scott Palmer, Bethard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are mwah, delicious. But anyway, I'll see you soon for another video. Be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch ever say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.